Okay, that's fine. Then I guess don't wear your seatbelt. Like, okay, whatever. Welcome to Contra Thoughts. We've got a reaction to some candy. Halloween candy post holiday show coming up next. All right, all right, welcome. Welcome new subscribers and uh, people joining the cause. It's good, to, it's good to have and share thoughts with people. And that's the whole point of this channel, Contra Mundum, being against the world, but for the world. And this is going to be a example of being very much against the world, but for the sake of the world, because the world is passing away, Jesus tells us, but he's overcome the world, right? In this world, you have trouble, right? Jesus tells us, but if you're not, you're, I've overcome it. And the world is passing away. And so it's not good the way it is, right? The world is fallen. You can look at Genesis 3. There's corruption and sin and all sorts of just junk. But Jesus came into the world. God the Father sent Jesus the Son into the world, the mundum. That's actually the Latin there. It would be cosmos if it was the Greek. But Latin's fun too. So that's why I have that. We're looking at the Twix commercial you've probably seen. Uh, we're just going to play it. And I'm going to try I'm going to try and be generous. Uh, I really do. I want to be generous. And yeah, let's just play it and we'll respond, okay? Okay. Weird doorbell. Seem to think you do. Okay, 27 minutes, <laughs> minutes, seconds in. This witch shows up, right? Classic black, black everything, right? And there's this boy, I don't know. It looks like a girl, uh, but apparently there's some people, conservatives are like, ah, oh, trans, whatever, and you know, transphobia and this and that, and you know, a uh, uh, transgender kid. Well, I watched this commercial a few times. There's no transgenderism, there's cross-dressing. I guess. But the kid's, what, seven, eight? Sounds like a girl, although little boys also sound like little girls. I've got a son uh, who is young, and he doesn't have a deep voice because he's not a man yet. Um, and I think in later in the video, one of the kids who taunts him, you could probably seen it, spoiler alert, this is boys don't wear dresses. Well, okay, that's true. Yeah, in our culture, they don't. Now, Many men have worn pink in the past, worn uh, heels, and worn dresses. But I'm not, I'm not advocating wearing dresses or cross-dressing. That's not what I'm doing. But what I'm saying is, this is so superficial, right? Now, the nanny, this witch or whatever, at least she uh, advocates, doesn't say your mom or your dad or your two dads or something, uh, but says your parents. So there's some sort of parental authority, which is good. Why the kid is home alone by herself, himself. Uh, I guess it's a boy again because people are saying it's a boy. Um, that's a little weird. And why this nanny shows up, a little weird. Where this nanny came from, I don't know. But then the nanny gets in, right? It's because she's really a witch. We'll see some more power here in a second. But at least there's parental authority, right? Parental guidance. Your parents seem to think so, she says. What's your favorite color? Black. This is funny. Other than black. I knew she was going to I thought oh. she was going to say um. dark gray. Charcoal? Where she says charcoal, right? Why are you all dressed up? It's not Halloween yet. Now, this boy uh, outside playing soccer, right? And why are you all dressed up? Now, they've got the whole diversity thing. You've got a light-skinned girl and a darker-skinned girl. Uh, why are you all dressed up? It's not Halloween yet. And this is the only reference to Halloween in this whole two-minute commercial about Halloween. And there's no reference to candy at all. Yet, it's a candy commercial. Like, I miss the days. Your tickets. You can't take them anymore. Hey, lady. Since Twix gives you chewy caramel twice, milk chocolate twice, and that cookie crunch twice, you get one great hey, snack. Will you tell me when my mom gets here? After another. 
Now, every commercial and every corporation feels like they have some agenda and they have to help the down and out, the people who want to wear dresses as little boys and spend however many hundreds of thousands, possibly millions of dollars to film this commercial. For what? What about candy? Why can't you just make decent candy? Don't, don't people just care about candy? I don't care about your politics. You want to vote for a leftist cause? You want to wave a rainbow flag? You want to do whatever? Fine. Do that on your own personal time, CEO or marketing director or art director of Mars Milky Way, who makes Snickers. But don't, don't shove this crap down our throats because nobody's buying it. Now, there might be a few piece of people, people that are kind of like, oh, yeah, I'm all warm and fuzzy. I'm glad I'm seeing my own representation. But this is a seven-year-old. Right? My daughter's worn stuff that her brother, she's three, he's five. Boy clothes, oh no. But clothes don't make a person at all. Just like surgery and changing your name and mutilating your body in some capacity also doesn't make you the opposite gender. It just doesn't. You're your gender because God assigned that to you. Okay? So this little boy is dressing in a dress. Okay, I'm not going to have my son dress in a dress. I'm really not. And if he, if he does one time, does that mean he's all of a sudden a girl? No. At all. Not at all. Because clothes don't make people. Do women turn into men as soon as they put pants on? I mean, again, I want us, especially as conservative Christians who love the Bible, don't just go with the trope of, you know, the conservative right-wing politics only, or embrace everything on the left and, well, I'm loving my neighbor. No, I want us to think about it. It's the heart. It's internally. Out of the overflow of your heart, your mouth speaks. Your actions are. What's inside is what matters, Right? Whether you're redeemed and you're a child of God or you're in rebellion against your creator. Those are the two options. That's it. Can I help you? Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Do you want to find out? Do you want to find out? They're like, uh, you cultural I'm diversity. I'm still wearing my princess dress. Do you want to wear it? <laughs> okay, so that's weird. They shove it in down our throats. Do you want to wear it? Yeah. Well, he is asked by the witch, nanny or whatever, creepy Mary Poppins, says, says, are you buckled? Right? This is a safety thing. We're all about safety. Right? Put on your seatbelt. And then, well, I'm still wearing my princess dress. As if that wasn't obvious. Now, he didn't say, I'm a boy and I'm still wearing my princess dress. Like, that would have been just, you know, barf inducing. But, <laughs> like... I'm still wearing my... And then she's like, you want to wear it? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Then I guess don't wear your seatbelt. Like, okay, whatever. Here we're at the park, and this is where it gets good, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, you. Princess. Princess. You look like a girl. Why are you wearing that? Dressing like this makes me feel good. Is that your nanny? She looks weird. You look weird. Your nanny looks weird. You guys are both weird. No, we're just different. Boys don't wear dresses. Okay, so right there, boys don't wear dresses. So that's where it is. Okay, this kid is seven, eight years old, right? And the other kid, bully, is like eight or nine, maybe ten. Should you bully people? No. Should you make fun of people? No. Have we all been made fun of? Yes. Like, a million times yes. Everybody's been made fun of. How tall you are, how short you are, whether you're skinny, fat, whether you've got poor parents, whether your parents, where you've only got a mom, where you're from, where you go to church, you don't go to church, what you eat, what you wear, what you smell like. Kids are cruel. And? <laughs> like, but we're going to make a commercial about it. What's a com What's your company for? Oh, it's for, for Twix. The candy? Yeah. The candy. We're hardcore. We're woke. We're aware of the nonsense. Yeah, we're aware of the sin that's in the world that's been here since, oh, I don't know, Genesis 3. People are cruel. Adults, children, are cruel, can be cruel. Does that make it okay? No, I'm not saying that's fine at all. This kid is doing classic, because he's the one who's insecure, the one making fun of. Now, you look weird, she looks weird, we're all weird, you're weird. No, we're just different. Well, and then notice the violence that happens with the witch. Probably. 
boy. Come on. Okay. So, again, that has nothing to do with candy. What the crap are you doing, Mars? Why? <laughs> like, what does that have to do with candy? Make a good... Stop using crappy ingredients like corn syrup solids and all sorts of ingredients that are banned in other countries, especially most of Europe, and make a better candy. Maybe I'll buy a Snickers again. Or Twix. Snickers just came out. I used to buy Twix and Snickers. I don't really buy it either anymore. There's way better candy out there. Also from companies that are not stupid. Like, this is just dumb. This has nothing to do with candy. Like, if you want to talk about it, but I guess because they're so uncreative, they just, you know, probably have a few social justice warrior writers out there, and they're like, well, we'll just make these commercials and then sell them to people, which actually they do, and then they'll just stick their logo at the end. Because, did you see any candy? Did you see any Halloween? Was there any October 31st fall festival -y Nothing! Other than it was windy, and usually it's windy in the fall in certain places. That's it. This is stupid. I want us to be against this. I want you to be against this. I want you to not just see this and be like, well, yeah, okay. And just either disagree with it and be like, oh, I can't believe oh, the boys shouldn't wear dresses. Okay, yeah, boys shouldn't wear dresses. But more than that, what else is going on? Well, this witch advocates doing violence against somebody who's disagreeing with somebody else. Who's making fun of them. Oh, I'm going to go beat them up. Yeah, because that's the solution. Somebody who calls you a name or makes fun of you, you should go use supernatural demonic powers against them. That's that's what we're going to do, right? Okay. <laughs> like, do you see this? Do you see this nonsense? But further still, these big Fortune 500 companies, like Mars, they don't, they're not advocating a product at all. There's no gooey caramel and crispy cookies and melty chocolate. It's a SJW commercial. Boring nonsense that no one wants to see. Nobody wants to see it. Sorry. Nobody wants to see it. Also, this doesn't even look like a boy. Like, he has, like, shaggy your hair. So, I mean, is it a boy transitioning? Or is it just a boy who's wearing a dress? Is it really a girl? Boys don't like... But the boy who makes fun of calls him princess. Like, uh, but it, was it sarcastic calling princess? Like, it's just, it's just a mess. All over the place. A total mess. Anyway, I'll stop ranting. Um, if you found this video helpful, uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it if you haven't already. Uh, and it helps if you comment and like it pushes the algorithm tells the algorithm that uh, more people want to see this and it'll push it to more people so uh, until next time be against the world for the sake of the world all right